has the most profound effect on patients, and it's real simple, is to spare the tissue and not cut through the muscles and tendons. With a more conventional approach, an incision is made along the side of the, uh, the leg, cutting through this big muscle, your gluteus maximus, and the IT band. And then after going through those muscles, either detaching the external rotators or the short abductors of the hip. Once you cut through those muscles and tendons, you weaken or destabilize the hip. And that is now part of the recovery process, the healing of the muscles and tendons. By simply moving the incision to the front, you can take advantage of an intermuscular plane and spread the muscles apart to get down to the hip joint without having to cut or detach the muscles or tendons. That cuts the recovery time at least in half, and patients have less pain in a, in a much faster recovery. Thank you.